In this video, I'm going to paint my kayak. I have an Ascend 10-foot sit-in kayak. It's bright red. I've never liked it being red. So I'm going to attempt to paint it. And I've got my uh, spray paint that says it's for plastic. Bonds to plastic. Both of these say that. And uh, I'm going through the process. I'm going to wash it first, sand it. Wash it again with some isopropyl alcohol. We can use acetone, it's probably better. And uh, then I'm gonna spray paint it and we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully uh, I'll have a camouflage looking kayak that I can um, hunt in, fish in, and not be so bright red. First step is to wash it. All right, we washed it good. Next thing I'll do is uh, let it dry. As you can see, I'm doing this outside on a bright sunny day. And uh, that way everything's gonna dry quickly. I don't have to worry about the fumes getting on me because I'm outside. And uh, we'll come, come back and um, sand it down after this dries. The kayak is dried now, so I'm going to sand it. I uh, heard suggestions of a 220 grit. I've got a 120. Got a um, 220 grit here, so I'm going to sand it down. That way, it has a better grip for the paint to get into it. Now that I've sanded it all over, inside and out, with a uh, fine sandpaper, I'm going to rinse it off, wash it one more time, and then do a coating of uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol or acetone to get all the little grit and all the little bits of dirt completely off before I start painting it. My next step after I've washed it and sanded it, Final prep step is to rub some isopropyl alcohol or acetone. Acetone is probably better, but uh, alcohol is cheaper. So I'm going to put it on this rag and wipe it down. All the prep steps are done. I've washed it, sandpapered it, washed it again, and then just rubbed it down good with isopropyl alcohol. One final step for prep work is to get rid of any decals and tape up anything you don't want paint on. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All the prep work is finally done and I'm gonna start painting now. Like I said, I'm gonna use paint that is bonds to plastic. And in this case, this is like a, a tan light brown. I'm gonna put that on first and then I'll touch it up with a, a dark green color for the camouflage pattern. And uh, hopefully these two cans are enough to cover all of it. You can see already that one can is not enough to do it. I'm going to have to go get another can to just finish the base coat of the uh, light tan cream color. So I'll have to finish this up tomorrow. But um, it also doesn't help. I got a little bit of a breeze that seems to be blowing some of my paint away. But uh, I have the green can of spray paint, but I'm going to use it for stripes and patterns and stuff like that. I want it all green. So I'll go get another can of this and finish it up tomorrow. All right, this is the next day. I had to go back and get another can of spray paint. I didn't have enough. Again, this is the Rust-Oleum 2X that says it's made for plastic. So I'm going to try to finish uh, putting the base coat of this tan paint on here, and then we'll go from there. So 
after two cans of this, it still wasn't enough to cover it. I didn't put it on the very bottom, but uh, maybe I can make up for it with the, um, the green paint. So you probably need at least two, three, maybe even four cans to finish off spray paint in your kayak, depending on how big it is, of course, and how thick you want to put it on. Now that I have the base coat of tan paint all over most of it, I'm going to use the green. And again, this is the Rust-Oleum 2X that is um, made for plastic. And I'm going to use different uh, kinds of or just leaves and stuff just to get a camo pattern on it. Spray around it. And I'll do that. And I may do it more so where there's areas where maybe my paint not is quite as thick and just kind of spread it out. So we'll start that and uh, try to get a camouflage pattern on it. The pattern doesn't have to be anything in particular. Just kind of break it up, leaves, sticks, stripes. You don't even have to use any forms. Just put, uh, you, can do, you can do just you know stripes here and there, little blobs. But uh, I'm using single leaves and branches probably the most. I've got most of the kayak uh, camouflage now with the spots of green and all. I'm going to let it dry and then I try to put the clear coat on. So I don't have it on the very bottom. I probably get scraped off anyway on the rocks. You know, I don't have that much paint, but everything else is pretty much camouflaged here. And uh, I didn't paint the inside either. I don't have, they take too much paint and nobody's going to look in there anyway. So the bulk of it's done and I'm going to let it dry. Then we're going to uh, put the clear coat on. One of the last steps is to apply a clear coat. And this is uh, Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Matte. Make sure you get matte so you don't want shiny clear coat. And uh, this again says it's for plastic. These are the paints that I use for this project. Rust-Oleum was the uh, product name 2X. And they had both said they f are for plastic. Got two tan colors, a green color, and then the uh, clear coat. I'm trying to read the can on uh, my spray paint can. It's very small letters, it's very hard to read. But it said on when you're painting plastic that major adhesion uh, takes place after five to seven days. So definitely after you, if this is painted, to let it just sit out in the sun and dry for you know, at least a week. I was a little concerned because a couple times it, I was turning the kayak, it would scrape against the table and there'd be a scratch like it's not adhering, but um, I haven't put the clear coat on or or um, given it the one week to cure out. So we'll see how it is after that. This is the finished product. I gave this um, over a week to dry and cure out. Uh, and I'm not really happy with the results. Looks like you got some uh, scratching right here that comes off way too easily. You look at this right here, like it just scratches off. So I thought I did what I, you were supposed to do as far as um, cleaning it off real well, using spray paint that's for plastic put a clear coat on i've given a week to dry maybe it'll cure out in a little bit more time sitting in the sun but i'm wondering if i should have used a primer some places i read and research said it didn't matter some said you did but this is the product you know maybe in uh i'll do a follow-up in a little while to see whether uh this paint's holding up but didn't look like it is